In project two, you're gonna select a specific business and assess its primary security concerns in terms of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. In this project, you'll develop a memo detailing recommended security best practices and measures. You're gonna leverage the OWASP top 10 or other security best practices and industry reports to help support your research. The result should consist of a detailed set of tailored security recommendations in the form of a company memo. Now, for picking a company for this project, we have to be careful without revealing too much information, especially if you're discussing an organization that you're currently working for. So what I recommend you do is choose a fictional business or organization and apply assumptions on their security posture. Alternatively, choose an organization that was in the news in the past few years due to either a breach or other security related incident and discuss through maybe forming some of your own assumptions based on that report and tying that together with the security best practices. And then alternatively, if you do wanna choose an organization that you've been affiliated with in the past, it's fine to do this. However, please do not disclose any non-public facts. You may also use a fictional name in these situations. In class, we've already discussed OWASP. And if you go to the OWASP website, you'll see some of the top 10 application security risks listed here on the right you're gonna to wanna to focus on the 2021 list. Alternatively, there are other sources of information that you can use for your project. Another example of this could be CloudStrike has published the 12 most common types of cyber attacks in May 14th of this year. And among their most common are listed and you can click on each of these for more information. If you look at project requirements, part one, you're gonna do your initial analysis, choose the organization that you're gonna be writing this memo for and apply what you've learned in our security unit with regards to confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Part two includes writing the memo itself to a company or chosen industry, whereby you should introduce the security challenges along with recommendations for addressing those challenges. For part three, you will complete a project reflection, which you can also submit alongside with the assignment, addressing the following questions listed below. As with all projects in the program, please be sure to go to your assignment and take a look at the rubric, which you'll be graded on, and reach out in the class discussions if you have any questions regarding this assignment. I look forward to receiving your submissions and hope that this project provides you with a great learning experience of common security challenges across different industries.